So what's going on with the church today and with the belief system of Jesus Christ? Right. Well, basically, according to Scripture, which is all you can use, right, to understand the Bible, you got to go to the Bible. Mm -hmm. One, men are silly truths, right? They're, they've been selling them since at least the time of Daniel, right? Shortly after that, right? The first one has to do with the divine name and how to say it, right? Well, like I told you, right? It all depends on what you're going for. Mm -hmm. Now, simply put, the divine name, though, has an H at the end, right? If you know anything about Hebrew, what does that tell you? It's feminine, right? How do you know? Sarah. Mm -hmm. Well, Sarah is spelled S-A-R-A-H. Right. There's another woman in the Bible called Deborah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the point, right? So what name, though, can be the opposite of, say, Sar, which means prince, to Sarah, which means prince her? Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> or we might call it simply princess. So what do we do then, right? Well, there's one man in the Bible mm -hmm, who ran from a woman. Mm -hmm, and his name in the Hebrew is Eliyahu. Mm -hmm. What does Eliyahu mean? My God, Yahoo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yahoo. Uh, is what? Mm -hmm. The masculine of Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. Therefore, men run from God because they think it's a woman. You know? For it is not a man. <laughs> but it is partially male mm -hmm. and partially female. Mm -hmm. And we've been lied to about it because men and male parentages right. is different than female parentage in one area, who their daughter marries. Right. Even if a daughter can elope and marry a man without her father's permission, most men resent men who will do that to them <laughs> and steal their daughter from them. But this is wrong. This is like Lot and his daughters. This is what you got to understand, man. You don't own your daughter just because even if you think she's another man's daughter, right? And your wife cheated on you, right? Some men are willing to have sex with their biological daughter, even if it's just because they got different hair textures to them, or red hair versus brown hair, or black hair, right? Well, that's what they're doing. <laughs> like Lot and his daughters, except reverse, right? He's pretending the wife cheated on him when she never did, right? More than likely, too, right? It's called a recessive gene, the gene hole, right? That neither the father nor his wife, the man nor his wife, knew they had, right? So this makes the child look different than, mm hmm the mother and father. And when men do that, they're the ones you got to watch out, right, for who will have sex with their own daughters, right? Not even me as a stepdad would try to have sex with my stepdaughter ever, ever. But like I told you now, I am the stepdad, right? <laughs> if you let society run you, right, and say Morgan Freeman... We know the story. He had a relationship with his step granddaughter. Is that a crime? No, no. <laughs> but here's what is. Right? Um, you as the biological dad using that to make it seem like mm -hmm. the stepdad would do that just because he's a stepdad, right? <laughs> That's just a bad, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah. The stepdad knows he's disabled. He's not even going to go after the stepdaughter, right? 
The problem is, if someone's accusing him of molesting her, right. there's not a lot of people who would have a motive to even do that. Right. Though, like, if you're in the military, one of the motives might be you're worried people will not think you're gay or something. Right. But that's why, again, right, as long as you're in the military, you're not to go down that path. That's why the rules of the military say you cannot perform the act of sodomy, giving or receiving, by the way, <laughs> on another man, or you're committing and breaking the law of the Uniform Code of Military Justice. Right? And no man can do that and prove another man gay. Right? Rape does not prove, which is also part of it, right? If the male tells you no, right, and you do it anyway, and he forgives you because that's what the Bible says, right? That's religious, right? That's not permission to do that in the first place when he says that, right? And forgiving you is so he can survive it, right? Even if you don't remember it. <laughs> that's what I mean, too. I don't know nobody rape me ever, especially a male. Right? But it don't mean that's impossible because part of a code red is you're blacking out, right? You don't remember everything, right? Well, if I'm having blackouts of this 30 years later, that's not normal. Right? Unless I got a lot of head trauma or something. Right? <laughs> Two, you can trace back to... One, you can trace back before the military and one during the military. Mm-hmm. But I was also on my ship for over two years as well. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing about being on the ship is once you're on the ship, you're on the ship. They don't let y'all see you for complete your first, full first tour, right? And then after that, they might let you off the ship, right? And you do something else, right? But it don't mean you're trying to do anything wrong if other people are doing you wrong in the process, right? The first responsibility of my shipmates is to train me, right? And help me learn my job, right? If they're not doing that, they're violating the laws of the Navy, right? Not me, not anyone else, them, them. Now, if they ask me if I'm gay and I tell them no, what does that mean, right? They're trying to get me to do something with them that's gay, right? Right. And if I say no, right, the no is a no, right? It's not a yes. It's not a yes. And if you do, forgiveness is forgiving the trespass you're doing to me, right? It don't mean the error did not occur, but that I don't remember it, one, and I gave it over to God and Jesus to fix it and heal it, too, right? If they did that, they did the best they could. Right? If I'm even still walking on it, though, that's by the grace of God, not by the grace of those who attacked me, trying maybe even to kill me. Right? <laughs> Though I forgive them that sin as well. Right? See, if I forgive you for murdering me, as Jesus forgave those who murdered him on the cross, it's because you don't know what you're doing is wrong and I can't reasonably or rationally Get you to stop. <laughs> so I got to do it this way. Right? I got to forgive you anyway so God can help me. And, uh, which means I'm not judging you like you're judging me that I'm gay or not. I don't care if you're gay or not. Though you can't do it in the military anyway. So what's your barking up the wrong tree for? Mm -hmm. But I can tell you no every time you try to rape me. Right? And say so you're raping me. I don't want to do that with you. If you don't get that, you don't want to get that. <laughs> but the only thing I can do according to God is forgive you the trespass, right? And let it heal me the best it can afterwards. You know? And that's what I did. Right? Does that mean I don't have a past or I forgot everything? No, no. Does that mean I can't talk about it? That's part of therapy. I don't know what it is. It's talking about your problems while you're in the Navy. Right? If you don't want me to talk about it, the more you attack me, the more I'm going to talk about it. Unless you attack me, the less I might talk about it, right? See what I mean? Right. So y'all got to figure something out for yourself. 
And like I said, you know, I watch mainly 911 and um, the neighbors a little bit. And Bob Hurts, Abishola, and also um, 911 Lone Star. And then All Rise. I didn't really watch The Voice tonight. Right? Just chose not to. Just chose not to. But then I watched The Re. Um, the Good Doctor and well, <laughs> and I pretty much got the gist of all three. <laughs> Bull was he was defending the former district attorney because of the accusation that he had received kind of a bribe, right, of a hundred thousand from a guy who accidentally killed a man while operating a crane. <laughs> In debris, the debris started going to this invisible area and flying off the shelf and started kind of killing people in a way. And yet they were also standing weirdly against the wall later on, <laughs> as if in a um, trance, right? And they're trying to figure out what's going on there, right? And then finally they uh, think it has something to do with Dr. George and a weapon or something, right? And it's in... Uh, Virginia or somewhere around there. <laughs> They're trying to figure out what's going on, where it's at, and maybe stop the weapon from being used against somebody, right? <laughs> or anybody, really, really. And on the good doctor, well, they're still dealing with the lost pregnancy, right? Um, so he goes in the work and he thinks something's wrong with one of the procedures the doctor's about to do, but he's a famous doctor, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> And they don't want to hear that, right? But this time he might be wrong, right? But again, right? Mm hmm. So when he goes home, because it didn't go home, you're wrong on this area, right? So you look into it, right? A little bit, right? Just to make sure, you know, nothing, no harm, no foul, right? But uh, anyway. So. He goes home and the girl's mother calls and starts talking about buying stuff for the baby who she don't even know is aborted. I mean, that's scary. She's all right, my bad. But what's more important, the woman who can carry the child or the child, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's the woman who can carry the child that the child, you got to abort or miscarry, right? With the woman, you might can always have another baby, but you can't have one with your own child. I mean, dur, dur. <laughs> Unless you just want her to buy dying childbirth or something. Right. But we're all important. You know? Now, what if a woman gets pregnant by the wrong guy? Does she have the same right to terminate? Say he's a wife abuser. And might even abuse the child and kill it one day himself, right? Who are you to judge, right? Forgiveness is your best weapon against Satan, right? Not condemnation. Even of gay people, Christians. <laughs> You're the ones who, like the men of the Disciples' Day, come up with crazy rules. Like, you say, you can't say damn, or god damn, because you're taking the Lord's demon being. <laughs> no, that's not what it means, right? <sighs> or you can't even say the Lord's demon unless you're in doing something holy, right? Well, no, Yahuwah is what you're supposed to call God, period, when addressing it as your chief deity, right? So, even if you're mad at the bad guy for attacking you, like in Job, for example, you know it's not God doing you wrong. Satan is doing his own thing apart from God, right? And getting his people who he controls to do you wrong, right? But you still got to forgive the trespass, even while the trespass is occurring, right? Because you can't stop it if you don't know what's going on yourself, right? Obviously. But if you know what's going on and you can stop it, of course, you're to try to stop it too, right? 
God, don't say that. <laughs> no worries. Mm -hmm. But he does say we're all sinners. And if my wife commits adultery against her, I must not be there for her to where she has to seek solace in another man's arm. Right? And vice versa. Right? Well, that's what I mean about any ex-girlfriend. Right? If I moved on from you, I moved on from you. Talking about our situation, as you explained it to me, is trying to figure out the causality. Right? <clears throat> and usually, mm -hmm, it's called understanding why you broke up with me, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> to understand what went wrong, okay, <laughs> with all you're telling me, <laughs> it still don't change the final outcome, right? No matter what you do, right? You just don't hurt people intentionally. And this is what you call closure of the relationship, right? The only one I really never really closed was Sheena Johnson anyway, because I don't know what was her real hang-up, right? <laughs> was it sex before marriage? Was it that my shipmates were attacking her and writing her crazy letters? Was it me writing her crazy letters that I didn't know, right? I don't know. Or did she not like what I was telling her about my life before I met her? Did that freak her out, right? Because, see, I, even though we met at 24, I mean, 23, right, I still have a past, right? So that did she, right? Only I forgave her past, right? I didn't do that against her to bring up with her, right? But it seemed to me like she was doing that to me, right? So I just kind of tried to hang on, right, right? Now, all I could do is really write her from my ship to her ship because we're on two different ships. And after Sicily, they went in two different directions. That's fine, right? But I had had sex with her on the island, and I was trying to make sure she understood it wasn't just a one-night scene, and I was willing to marry her even in Jerusalem because I was praying about it, and I heard the voice saying, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. And I started asking her to pray fast, too, and then I got, I thought, that's why she didn't want to stay with me. I asked her to pray and fast for two days. <laughs> Seriously, seriously. <laughs> and she couldn't do it. <laughs> but no, no. Something else has gone on that I'm not aware of, and I can't do it about something I'm not aware of, right? That's what I think, right? After that, I'm just confirming the truth, right? I already know, right? Now, if I'm carrying on a conversation with another person and they should understand what I'm saying, the person usually says what? Right, I understand. Right. If you're telling this to someone else, right? You too should be saying, oh, I understand all this, right? What Mr. Julia really is saying. He's been through all kind of problems with the Navy. They were, Bastard was trying to jerk off with his units and whatever that meant to him, right? That's all you know about is that they just kind of talk like they would. I, I didn't join them, so I don't know. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't consent to it then. <laughs> and they blacked me out. <laughs> Doing something else, maybe. I know. But also pray for God not only to heal me, but them as we're fighting in case I actually can go with them. I know. Because I'm not trying to harm them, right? <laughs> And even though I'm a little bit upset that they automatically thought I was gay, they still could have accepted my no as an answer. Right? Unless they're again male racist. Right? But then they're again, all I can do is forgive the rape, but report it because it's a crime, right? According to the UCMJ, right? Now, if the male says no or a female says no, and you know you're not supposed to do that according to the law, you don't do that, right? And you're forgiven for it. Now, if I don't know you're doing it, I ain't going to just rat you out because you're acting like I'm gay. I'm just going to tell you, no, I'm not, and try to date women. Hello. <laughs> don't that seem like the simple solution? <laughs> Ignore your ass and try to find me a girlfriend, huh? <laughs> what it is, is what you did. <laughs> and yet, I'm crazy. I'm the mental ill person, right? I'm the paranoid schizophrenic. Not even a bipolar, but or delusional person. But paranoid schizophrenic. Wow. There you go. Uh -huh.
Mm-hmm. So, okay. Mm-hmm. Here we go again. So I forgive you, right? I move on. I'm still here. I found my keys. Thanks, right? What do you mean? You say you never brought up your keys. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but you keep messing with me about it once in a while. Mm-hmm. Now, usually, like I told you, though, a person's going to put their keys where they're the easiest to find unless, again, they do something they forget, right? So, if I did something I forget, it's still going to be within a certain boundary. It's not going to be the, to break the key off the keychain, right? For example, right? <clears throat> That's all I can tell you. <laughs> Have a good day.